Good morning, Commanders. Hope you all are doing very well today on this ARC fall in August 2024. I have a lot to talk about today, and we'll try and go through the patch notes in a decent time, but there is a lot to go through this month. Uh, some assumptions by reading through the patch notes we will have to see. I've gone from being <laughs> cautiously optimistic to almost cautiously pessimistic i guess when we have new content um we've read patch notes before and things change and so we'll go through it and we'll talk about kind of i'll give you my thoughts i know their content creators have given theirs um which i've tried to watch some of their videos it's tough listening to rev getting up at 4 a.m i'm like i'm not doing that rev good for you uh, appreciate all that they do for the community, um, some of the bigger content creators. But let's get into it. Let's hop into it. Let's talk about it. I'll give you my two cents, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so here we are. Galaxy Quest crossover. Yes, Galaxy Quest it's, it's, it's interesting, even just a couple of days ago, someone was surprised that Galaxy Quest was coming into Star Trek Fleet Command. Maybe they haven't heard in Discord all the people complaining about it, but the Protector, here we are with all the new stuff coming in with this. So we'll go through some of this stuff here. Uh, the Protector, uh, yes, 40 plus content, and uh, hopefully... <laughs> Uh, hopefully you're all over 40. If not, uh, work together on your own time. Don't feel like you have to get there just to get to new, the new content. Trust me, it'll be waiting for you when you get there. Okay, so the Galaxy Quest NSEA Protector provides increased damage to Mirror Universe hostiles. I'm interested to see if that will help people punch up to higher level systems. Increases raw trillium mining. Um, it's interesting how we've talked about how the mining is really for, you know, those with Selkies in the 61, for those who don't know, that's a mining ship in the 61 plus area. So it'll be interesting to see if this raw trillium mining is a thing as far as helping to mine the trillium D, uh, any quicker, uh, because unless you had a Selkie before now, it was, uh, it was, uh, you know, not a thing unless you could get into 61 plus um and it's interesting i remember talking to people and, and saying last month uh or coming into last month's arc just before last month's arc that i bet they're gonna come out with a ship that that does mining to make this easier because it sucks for those not in the 60 plus range so we'll have to see how well that works um i'm assuming that this isn't just in a new area um but i don't know so we'll have to just kind of see how that applies um, if in the new zones there is mining uh, let's see so it has a omega 13 device essentially it's like vemet as it refers to here but you can only use vemet doesn't override or improve this it's either one or the other essentially you're rolling back the clock <clears throat> and shout out to floyd who has uh, on my streams which by the way you all are welcome uh, join my discord down below and join us on our streams on twitch we have a lot of fun and just hang out. It's really a good time. Um, try to make it as fun as possible. But uh, unfortunately, we will not be able to have you roll back the clock in a way, Floyd, that will take you all the way back to Ops 14 when you didn't have to deal with everything else in the game. <laughs> so we'll go back that far, but essentially it's going to heal a percentage of your whole health. So if you do die in a hostel, in the mirror universe you don't lose all your loot so that's an interesting mechanic we'll have to see how how well that plays out and if it extends your ability to hit more hostiles uh new systems that you can only access really with the protector because those who don't know it's kind of like a hazard system that those in the 60 plus range have to deal with where when you go into the system you take damage for every second the longer you're in there the more damage you're taking right um, and so uh, the protector is the only one that can go into those new systems. Um, new daily claim, Trillium D, exchanges for all rarities of mirror dust, which I think is great. I need more mirror dust to move through the tree. I've been trying to focus on that, but that is great to have more mirror dust. Uh, Rack Vort, refit shards, 
their Aurelium Spheres to upgrade the Protector, four new Primes. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look at the Research Tree in another video. Uh, but lots of stuff that can be unlocked. And yes, downfall here, 100%. Uh, 100%. 100%. Uh, the, the, the downfall here is that this is a new loop. Um, and I haven't seen anything in any videos or any of the um, patch notes that I've read quickly here, obviously, but I haven't seen anything that uh, indicates that they're having efficiencies to take away old loops. Um, it would be good if every month or two they came out with some efficiency or e even every time they came out with a new um a new loop that they came out with something that reduced or removed an old loop um so hopefully that's something they're looking at anyways uh just to balance things out you know what i mean don't want to get overwhelmed with adding 10 new loops for every one you take out that seems stupid so please scopely look into that okay so new uh research includes whole health rift key travel reduction uh, which is good because if you're going to higher level systems because you can punch up higher because you're doing more damage, then, you know, it'd be good to have a reduction there. Uh, critical floor, damage floor, isolytic damage for FKR ships, cost efficiency materials, resource, research resources, including Sigma, War Room, Art Gallery, District 6, Scrapping Speed, Apex Barrier, Opponent Critical Damage, Reduction, uh, Energy Kinetic, and General Damage. So uh, good stuff there. We'll have to look, do a video about that, looking at that and seeing what looks valuable there to the common everyday player. Okay, so Galaxy Quest Invasion. Cyrus has joined forces with the Klingons, manifesting in the form of a galaxy-wide invasion. Um, essentially, it seems like this is going to be a PvE incursions type thing where you'll have to work with your server to defeat these. Uh, defeating invading entities will deal a small amount of damage to the overall hit points of the invasion itself. It's not going to happen all at once. It'll be introduced in phases. So ultimately, working with your alliance, you'll have to form strategies on, on doing so. Um, in the second phase, Chimeras will appear at the 10 round limit. Important thing to note for day one, any fought to create a feat will only contribute to the events after they're alive. So that's only going to apply uh, in this video if you see this before, uh, before everything goes live. At Operations 25, players are able to start defeating Fatu Kray, allowing them to include Fatu Kray scraps. They can exchange daily for blue particle accelerators, which will be needed to fight the Chimeras, their new enemy type. Okay, players will need to strategize on how to best equip themselves for battle. Um, they do not regenerate health in between battles. Um, after accounting for all damage taking, uh, you'll get a participation chest for chest for each battle engaging combat combat you're gonna get epic officer shards protector blueprints so this will be the sourcing for getting the new ship for the free to play once again i i, I would be surprised if scopely made it pay out enough that it would get you enough shards quicker than say um you know the typical 100 days they have for unlocking a free to a free to play to unlocking a ship i mean i'm still working on the gorn ship so <laughs> that's crazy, right? Galactic Acclaim, um, you can get, there's, there's 27 new favors, nine in each faction for G4, G5, G6 to increase the whole health for various ships. So you can look into that in your, in your game, um, but that's what you can use those for. Mirror Dust, Syndicate XP, and Building Resources. We'll have to look at how good those pay out. New Alliance, alliance Tournaments. This is going to be really interesting where you work with your alliance to climb the ranks and get, um, get resources. So watch out for more videos about that uh, from me and other content creators. But it'll be interesting to see how well you can coordinate with your alliance and, and are, there, are the rewards enough to make it worth doing, uh, those kind of things. So I uh, encourage you to be a top alliance <laughs> if you can. Uh, certainly one in the top 10 would be helpful. So. Uh, let's talk about the new officers. Seems like new officers seem to be some of them geared toward the invading um, into, uh, enemies. And I believe that uh, we'll have to be 
uh, careful, interesting with some of the crews that we are using this month for some of the hostels and things we're doing. Some of them will um, basically make it so that uh, officer abilities for like armadas and hostels will not work against them. So we'll have to see, have to get creative with officers that are kind of more generic. Uh, maybe they apply whole breach like Gorkon or Lorca, stuff like that. So remember, if it says hostile or armada target in the description, it won't work on some of these hostels. So we'll have to get interesting, have to get creative. Um, so we've got Tim Allen, a.k.a. Jason Nesmith, uh, Captain Zanuver, Decreases invading entity shield mitigation by a certain percentage. Uh, with synergy, it'd be interesting to see how much that will be able to get that down um, to um, you know, how effective that's going to be. Officer ability increases Apex Barrier versus Hostiles by X percentage. Uh, when Officer ability, I have one job. Isolate damage as an Officer ability against Armadas and invading entities. Once again, we've got invading entities for both her and uh tim allen <laughs> i'm gonna keep calling him tim allen because i watched uh, that show uh for so many years uh home improvement good times we only watched that show to see him get injured tell me i'm wrong <laughs> um let's see and then below deck increases isolated isolated cascade damage in pvp when the enemy player has any state by a certain percentage um, so it would be interesting to see how well they back up against the invading uh, hostels. Um, for what it's worth, yes, this is Scopely making it difficult so that you are encouraged to spend to unlock these officers. So I'm just going to throw that out there. It's exactly what it is. And, and it's, it's typical. So I will leave that up to you. Feel free to leave your comments down below what you think of that. Uh, hopefully the sourcing is not horrendous. Um, that's all I can say. Uh, it always is to encourage spending, I know, but in the next coming months, hopefully they have options to unlock some of these. Um, and certainly the rares during this month would be helpful. So. Okay, so Sir Alexander Dane, Officer Ability, Increase Amount of Loot Gain. I have been using Epicard eData 511 on the bridge. I noticed Rev mentioned using him replacing 511 in his, so he'd have Epicard, E-Data, and then him. Um, mine is, my, my 511 is max, so I already get 100%, so it would only be better if I could put um, a second tier on him. So we'll have to see what the sourcing is like going forward. Um, I am excited by having a below deck officer with increased impulse speed. I can see that being useful in multiple situations. Um, you'll have to compare it with the other effects, but you know, um, right now I'm using e card in waves and with a D5 rare, I'm able to do that and take out even the highest level hostiles right now with, with the tier of ship that I have. But, if you can put a below deck as a below deck officer to help with impulse speed on your second ship um, and or, or even below deck and you're using like a strange new world crew, this actually might be helpful in waves. It might be helpful in a number of other situations where you need to get somewhere quicker. And, and we have been told that the protector has a pretty good impulse speed as it is. So it might be interesting to put him below decks. Um, also thinking about I mean, there's so many situations. The thing about the mirror universe and being able to get to those hostels and get those loot boxes even quicker, you know, is always a good thing. So, and then Lali, Laliari, someone tell me I'm pronouncing that wrong. I haven't watched Galaxy Quest for many years. So, <laughs> anyways, being honest there. Okay, Officer Ability decreases the cooldown of the NSEA Protector by a certain percentage. And Below Deck increasing the Apex Barrier and Wave Defenses. So, there is that. And then there's Galaxy Quest missions, two new primes, two new refits. We've got the field repair, Purdue provides an active ship ability to heal potential whole hit points while not docked. Um, so there's that. If that's a value to you, increase the amount of Kragvort, increase the maximum of whole health own ships heal when protected by the NSCA protector, Omega 13 ability by 10%. Um, <clears throat> 
and then they talked to, we talked about the G4, G5, and G6 favors. <sighs> Battle passes with an S. Okay. So we've gone, we've gone from overtime from having a $20 single $20 battle pass to having now two battle pass, two $20 battle passes, uh, wave defense, territory. I feel like there's one more I'm missing. Anyways, we have so many battle passes that you could easily, if you bought all the battle, battle passes each month, you could easily spend a, like $100 just on battle passes. The good thing I've, that, I, that I understand is this, is that what they've essentially done is they've taken the previous month's battle pass and shrunk that value down into like a two week period of time. Um, and so while they have two battle passes, you should get more rewards if you only buy one battle pass. So if you buy just one battle pass in a two week period of time, you should get about equal rewards. We'll have to see. This is what I've been told, what I've heard. But you should get about equal rewards for your total month's battle pass, pass last month in a um, two week period of time this month. So, that's what, like, if we assume that's true, and you only bought one battle pass, and if that's what you typically do, then you would get that in two week period of time. And if you do just the free track of the second one, you're kind of looking at a hundred and like, like a 50 percent, 150, a 50 percent increase, because you're basically getting what you got last month in two weeks, plus the free track of the second one um, in the in the next month. So. I mean, it's it's something you'll have to consider if it's worth it to you or not. I'd love to hear your feedback. We, uh, I think in the community, we're <laughs> outraged that Green Copley, Scopely keeps finding ways to get money from us, and I'm not happy about it. I, I, I've i complained about the my non-ability to, because I don't have the speed-ups or the latinum. Um, sometimes I have the uncommons, but I don't have the rares, you know, to, to do things to with all these spend events, and we've seen the inflating cost of spend events go up and up and up. So I'm excited to see them adding more materials. But am I going to have the Latinum or the speed ups, the other items to, uh, to actually spend? That's an interesting discussion to have, I think. So hopefully that's considered. And hopefully they're not going to ratchet up the... Uh, cost of spend events even more because they're offering two battle passes and they're including their calculation assumption that says well we're giving you two battle passes and we think most people are going to buy the second battle pass so we'll just increase the cost all more <laughs> oh i wouldn't be surprised and i'm hoping that's not the case but watch out for that so and then there's some bug fixes so whole lot of information new ship new hostels new loop new officers there is a lot new research there is a lot this month isn't there and this video is obviously longer because i'm just trying to go through the notes here uh with you all but what do you think do you are you excited at all from an initial look at this does it change your opinion if you had an opinion that you hated the idea they were bringing galaxy quest into star trek fleet command does any of the content that you've seen change your mind at all? Um, I'm gonna just pause and, and, and wait and, and be cautiously, not optimistic, but cautiously pessimistic this time <laughs> and see if any of this new content actually is helpful, makes the game easier, more fun, more exciting, more engaging. I am pretty excited uh, to test some of this stuff out with you all. I am really excited to kind of see what the rewards for the Alliance tournaments are like, because I don't know about you, but I really like engaging with people in the game. That includes you here on YouTube. That includes the people who join my stream on Twitch, which I, I didn't mention earlier, but uh, I do stream um, Thursday, Friday nights. Um, I will be doing tonight a short stream uh, just to uh, kind of 
talk a little bit about the arc and thoughts, but but mainly to do uh, a battle pass giveaway on arc fall. I was able to move my schedule around a little bit, so we'll be doing that tonight. But feel free to join us Thursday and Friday nights. Um, join the Discord in the notes in the description below, and you'll be able to see uh, when we do that. I have a channel set up just for that. So, um, anyways, I'm really looking forward to interacting with you all and seeing what you think of this, whether you interact with me on YouTube, um, on Discord, or on live streams. I'm interested to see kind of how this month goes and how some of this pans out. There are some things that could be good. Um, we'll just have to see how Scopely has organized it and hopefully it's in a way that uh, whether you are a spender, non-spender, low spender, hopefully for everyone there's a little bit of something um, whether that's interacting with your alliance on these alliance tournaments or is getting the new ship or doing the new loop, whatever it is. We'll have to see how it goes. So anyways, look forward to your thoughts and we'll talk to you next time.